Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be reading Bert's Thanksgiving Part 2. If you haven't watched Bert's Thanksgiving Part 1 yet, you could click on my channel and see the video titled Bert's Thanksgiving Part 1 or um, you could visit the link in my description. In the first Bert's Thanksgiving, um, we didn't finish the story so that's why I'm making a Part 2. So we're going to start where we left off. The old man spoke with some feeling. His fingers trembled, and somehow he dropped two cents instead of one into Bert's hand. Here, you've made a mistake, cried Bert. A bargain's a bargain. You've given me a cent too much. No, I didn't. I never give anybody a cent too much. But, see here. And Bert showed the two cents, offering to return one. No matter, said the old man. It will be so much less for my dinner. That's all. Bert had instinctively pocketed the pennies, but he felt bad. Poor old man, he thought. He's seen better days, I guess. Perhaps he's no home. A boy like me can stand it, but I guess it must be hard for him. He meant to give me two cents the whole time. And I don't believe he has had a decent dinner for many a day. Look, here, he cried. Where are you going to get your dinner? Today, I can get a bite here as well as anywhere. It don't matter much to me, replied the old man. I'll pay for your dinner, Bert exclaimed. Come, we don't have a Thanksgiving but once a year. And a fellow wants a good time then, said the man taking off his hat and giving it a brush with his elbow as they entered the restaurant, as if trying to appear as respectable as he could. He placed his hat on the floor and took a seat opposite Bert at a little table which they had all to themselves. Bert offered him the menu. I must ask you to choose for me. Nothing very extravagant. You know I am used to plain food. So am I. But I'm going to have a dinner for once in my life, and so are you cried Bert generously. What do you say to chicken soup and end up with a big piece of pumpkin pie? How's that for a Thanksgiving dinner? Scrumptious, said the old man, appearing to glow with the warmth of the room and the prospect of a good dinner. But won't it cost you too much? Too much? No, sir, said Bert. Chicken soup, 15 cents. Pie, they gave tremendous big pieces here. Thick, I tell you, ten cents. That's twenty-five cents, half a dollar for two. Of course, I don't do eat this way every day of the year. Here, waiter. And Bert gave his princely order as if he did it every day. Where is your mother? Why don't you have dinner with her? The little man asked. Now that's it for Bert's Thanksgiving Part 2. I'm going to post Bird's Thanksgiving Part 3 very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!